Oytun Orhan, a Levant Studies coordinator, joins me now live from Ankara. Good to have you on with us. Can you talk to us about the significance of this meeting, the first of its levels since 2011? Yeah, it is a significant uh, development. Actually, it could be seen as a big surprise, by, but for the followers of Syria, uh, it was an expected uh, development, actually, because uh, especially uh, with the start of the Astana process, there was an indirect contact between uh, Damascus and Ankara via Russia and Iran. And then uh, two intelligence agencies started to meet uh, together. So in that regard, these direct contacts were also uh, realized. But uh, this is a very significant development, as uh, now it had reached to a political level and, and more higher uh, level. Uh, actually, the signs of these meetings were already given by the uh, President uh, Erdogan. Uh, while he was returning from a foreign trip, he said that uh, that they, they are going to establish a, a tri tripartite uh, mechanism uh, between Turkey, Russia, and Syria, because we know that Russia is very eager to uh, mend defenses between Ankara and Damascus, and they are trying to mediate between these two parties. As they are preoccupied with the Ukraine war, they think that in order to consolidate their gainings in Syria, they need to reach a solution in Syria, and in that regard, uh, Turkish and uh, Syrian uh, agreement is a crucial uh, and game-changer uh, development in Syria. Uh, these negotiations uh, are uh, very critical in order to unblock the, uh, the process in Syria, because there is a total deadlock. Neither the uh, political uh, po solution process, neither the Military developments on the ground are not going further. So in that regard, in order to pave the way for a political solution, uh, Ankara-Damascus uh, negotiations seems to be the only uh, solution. So in that regard, in order to uh, protect the territorial integrity and the political unity of Syria and also the safe return of the Syrians to their homeland uh, and also fight against terrorism, which is a priority for Turkey, which means uh, fight against PKK, YPG, uh, will, mm -hmm. could be a common ground for the okay. two parties uh, to cooperate. So this was the first in a series of high-level negotiations. What, where can we expect things to lead from here? What will be the next steps? Well, it is not a big surprise. I mean, uh, President Erdogan already mentioned uh, this uh, process will start with the meetings between defense ministers. Then uh, we will have a possible uh, meeting between the foreign ministers of the three uh, countries. And then we could expect uh, at the highest level uh, a meeting between uh, President Erdogan, uh, Bashar al-Assad, and also Putin, maybe. So uh, this is a process, but there has been a deep distrust between the parties. So uh, unlike the other normalization process in the region, this process needs more time and also a commitment. So in that regard, we could expect a, a long-term process. Uh, but I think uh, this uh, could unblock the deadlock in Syria, uh, mm -hmm. Turkey and uh, Syria uh, coordination. Okay. All right, uh, Oytun Orhan joining us from Ankara, thank you.